Hey boys, today I wanted to take you guys for a tour of my truck garage in Grand Theft Auto Online. Now just for the people that like to comment and say stuff along the lines of, oh, well, flexing your Grand Theft Auto garage, oh, that's so lame, that's cringe. This isn't to flex, this is to show people what they can do with their cars, what they can possibly make them look like. It's to give you guys ideas, it's not to flex, that's, that's the last thing that I would want to do. That is cringe, to flex your Grand Theft Auto garage and tell people how cool it is. Anyway, with that being said, let's head inside and get into it. All right, so we're inside the garage here. We're gonna start off on my right with the Vapid Bobcat XL. This thing is super sick. It's a super underrated truck in Grand Theft Auto Online. I never see people driving these. People tell me in the comments on the customization for this thing that they drive it and that they really like it. However, I honestly never see people driving this thing, which is a real shame because it's honestly pretty sick. I would highly recommend picking one of these things up. You can get it for free right off of the street. It's got the uh, widened side fenders here on the rear, sort of, you know, for a dually. Got a nice little chrome bull bar there. I think this is in marine or blue maybe, or maybe light blue. I'm not 100% sure. It's a super nice truck though. I would highly recommend picking one up. Let's move right into the second truck here, which is the Dubsta 6x6. This thing is sick. This might be my favorite truck in the garage, but actually, you know what? It's it's like, I'd say it's like it's like tied. It's it's like top three. The top three are probably all a solid tie. So dubs the six by six. I love this thing, guys. It is actually six wheel drive. Truly, I've tested it. So sick. It's such a good off-road vehicle. I, I love this thing. It's got the little V12 badging there. You can two-tone it. You can make the, uh, you know, the bottom here black and the other, you know, the main primary color of it, whatever you want. Got the windows tinted, got the roof rack on, got the bull bar on the front with the mesh grill. This thing is sick. I love this thing. I would highly, highly recommend picking one of these things up. And it's only $249,000. So this thing is honestly kind of a steal. Let's move right into the next vehicle, which is the Caracara 4x4. This is tied with the Dubs the 6x6 from my favorite truck in this garage. I love how this thing looked. Obviously based off of like a Ford Raptor. I've got the uh, the vapid iron grill on the front of this thing with the uh, intercooler in the back there. I love this thing's uh, this thing's fender lines. They're so aggressive. They look so sick. I just wish that the truck itself was a bit like wider. I feel like it's really like skinny sort of. So that kind of annoys me about it, but I still love the truck. Got the windows tinted all the way out. Got these uh, nice running boards there. I got the uh, off-road concave mesh tire on there, I believe. I think that's my favorite one. And I got the uh, nice little black headache rack on the back here as well. This thing is sick. Definitely another one that I would recommend picking up. Let's move right into the next truck, which is the Bravado Bison. I really like this thing. It's actually super fast and you can get it right off of the street. It's uh, it's it's an impressive truck. It's rear wheel drive only, which is a little bit unfortunate. It is a uh, really sick truck and I would definitely, definitely recommend picking one of these up. It's free, so you know why not. And a unique feature about this truck is it's actually a six seater. You can have two friends sitting in the back on top of these boxes that are in the bed. So that's really cool. Definitely check one of these things out, guys. You see them all the time on the street. They're actually super fast. They're super unique. They are super cool. Pick one up if you uh, if you come across one and if you got the time. Let's move right into number five, which is the Sand King XL. I feel like you can't have a truck garage and not have a Sand King in it. And I have the XL right here. This is the four door, of course. I have the uh, the super elongated front bumper on this thing uh, i don't have any side options i don't have the fuel tanks i know that was an option with this thing uh, so I, I didn't go with the fuel tanks on on mine personally uh it's just not a super huge fan of them i do have the windows tinted all the way out though and i do have the uh kind of headache rack that's not really a headache rack i love this truck i think it's super sick again great off-roader Definitely, definitely, I feel like you must own a Sand King in this game or there's something wrong. So go pick one of these up if you don't have one. Let's move right into truck number six, which is the Sand King SWB, I believe. Yes, it is the SWB. It's got the uh, the fake uh, crew cab here. It's the, uh, I, I can never remember the name of what you call these, like a half cab, something like that. Super, super sick. Love this thing too. Honestly, I don't know which one I like better. I, I, I do like me a... Uh, a crew cab long box but at the same time i do like the uh the sort of half cab i can never remember the name of it i'm sorry guys i do like this look though too i honestly that my, my my one thing with the sand king is i almost wish 
that it was a little bit lower to the ground, which I know is like kind of kind of crazy to hear, but I kind of just wish they were a little bit a little bit more tame. But you know what? That's okay. This thing's uh, obviously in uh, red. It's got the bull bar on the front, and uh, it's it's pretty sick. I like this thing too. Let's move right into number seven here, which is the Vapid Contender. Now, this truck is super sick. This is really special to me. Me and Aaron, who is in my PvP videos, we share the same truck. His is a little bit different than mine. I have a metallic red on mine with an ice white pearlescent, and he has a matte red with an ice white pearlescent. There's a pearlescent glitch that you can do, and that's what his truck looks like. His looks really sick. It looks similar to mine, but just honestly a little bit better. This thing is super sick. There's not a lot of customization options for this, unfortunately. For what it is, it's super sick. It kind of looks like a Toyota Tundra a little bit. It's a very cool truck, though. Definitely would recommend picking it up. It's extremely fast, and it's also a pretty good off-roader. You can also equip it with a canopy on the back, which is a pretty unique feature. Honestly, just a super sick truck. Would definitely recommend picking one up if you have the money. I believe this thing also costs $249,000 or somewhere very close to that number. Let's move right into number eight here. We have the Camacho. This thing is super sick and is super, super underrated. This is actually Trevor's truck, uh, but this is a, uh, a more modernized version of it, I feel. This is uh, a crew cab, as you can see here, although it does have uh, no roof or anything there. So it's uh, it's pretty cool. It's also got some luggage in the back of it that you can uh, add in as a customization option. Pretty sure these uh, side steps are also a customization option, as well as the uh, front bull bar and whatnot. This truck actually has a super great amount of customization that you can do to it. You can make this thing look super unique. I would highly recommend taking a look into this thing, customizing it for yourself and seeing what you can do. I've seen some pretty amazing looking builds with this thing. It's so sick. Definitely, definitely check it out. With that being said, let's move right into number nine, which of course is the Rusty Rebel. This thing's got the, uh, the flared out fenders on it. It's got the big old tires on it too as well. Uh, obviously it's rusty as you can tell. Uh, it kind of kind of looks a, lo a little bad, but you know what? It's okay. Um, not a whole lot to say about this thing. It's it's one of these trucks that I don't I don't really drive it a whole lot, honestly. I kind of wish that I drove it more, but I've got so many trucks and so many cars to drive in this game, and most of the time when I play, I'm PvPing anyway. So unfortunately, I just don't get to drive this thing as much as I'd like to. But uh, definitely definitely a cool truck. You should pick one of these up if you don't have one. Maybe get the clean version though. It honestly it it looks a lot better. Let's move right into the final truck, which is, of course, the Rat Loader. This thing is a uh, clapped out old kind of piece of shit. Uh, it's carrying a bunch of garbage, as you can see. No window tint or anything. This thing is just completely clapped, boys. I, uh, I don't know. It is uh, it is what it is, I guess. It's a cool truck, that's for sure. Would maybe recommend picking one up if you're into older trucks, I guess. If you're not, probably wouldn't recommend it too much. But uh, anyway, guys, that's been it. Uh, if you enjoyed this, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what trucks you guys have. I'm interested to know. I feel like I've covered a lot of the trucks in the game, but I also feel like I've missed a lot too. So let me know in the comments below what trucks you think that I should get. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If not, dislike. Subscribe if you guys are new. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.